All right, this is products number 111 through 120 that I reviewed here on Freak Interviews. Today I'm going to give you an update and a recap of how those went, so let's get started. This is one of three laser projectors that were advertised in 2017. It held up all through the holidays fine. I think this is the most like the 2016 Star Shower Motion that came out that was one of my first reviews. Look at Bailey over there. Bailey. Oh my goodness, Bailey. It held up pretty well all through the, the holidays. Oh, Bailey. And it's as you can see, it still works. But here's a clip of my original review where I compared it to the other Star Shower products out there. And there it is. Looks nice. So that's the Santa Claus. We have some stars. And this looks an awful lot like the original Star Shower Motion, which I'll show you in a little bit. Let's see what happens when we have all of them at the same time. So we have the Star Shower Motion, Star Shower Slideshow, Star Shower Laser Magic. There we go. This is the Bacon Bonanza, a way to make perfect crispy bacon right in the oven. Unfortunately, with my test, the bacon wasn't crispy or perfect. <laughs> the tops look done, but the bottom part doesn't look as done. See that? See, it seems like it was over here. I mean, they're very done on the top, but not, not as much on the bottom. Bacon Bonanza, Bacon Wave, 26 minutes. 11 minutes. Now I've tried it with a fat down, with a fat up, I've tried rotating different temperatures. I just haven't been able to get the kind of results that I want out of it. Now even though it has a decent 3.3 star rating on Amazon, 40% of those ratings are one star. So not everyone is having the kind of luck with Bacon Bonanza that some people are. I happen to be in the group of people that's not having much luck. If I'm going to cheat and make bacon, I'm going to probably use the Bacon Wave, which makes some bacon purists cringe because you make it in the microwave. But if you're going to take a shortcut, to me, this was the best way of taking a shortcut using an as seen on TV product. My 113th review was a double review. It was the Atomic Lighter and Everlight, both as seen on TV electronic lighters. Just like, I mean, the candle barely even fit in there. I mean, that's, that's a lot closer than I'm usually hold, used to holding a lighter to it. So I don't know. Oh, it worked. There you go. It is a pretty small opening when you have to light it there, but so far I've made it work. First up, the atomic lighter. I think it works pretty well as an electronic lighter. It has a dual arc design, which is kind of cool. The only problems I had with it were the cap seemed to get in the way sometimes, and this opening really wasn't very big. I did have another problem where it seemed like it would either lose all of its power or I had to clean it but it would stop working temporarily and other people have also written and said the same thing but other people have also said they didn't have that problem so I'm not sure if it was a user error or what the problem was but I think overall it's pretty good but there are some limitations. I also did the Everlight which is also an electronic lighter. Now the problems I had with this were the single arc of the Everlight seems a little bit weak. Can you even see that? And it also requires batteries. If you're going to start getting recurring costs, you might as well just start getting these cheap dollar store versions. It will probably end up being cheap in the long run. Although I think that the Everlight is pretty good for lighting a grill or a fireplace. I don't think either one of these are really perfected yet. I think that maybe a second generation will be even better. These are Tech Glasses, the 114th product that I reviewed. Now these have shown up in several other glasses reviews and my Evaluation really hasn't changed since I first got them, that they're pretty much cheap glasses, not better than something you'd find at Walmart. They're also very dark. They're darker than all the other glasses I reviewed, which I don't like. And this nose bridge part right here isn't very comfortable. But here's a look at my original tech glasses review. This is like a glare paradise. Glare? No glare. I don't think the camera knows how to deal with that. Number 115 is the pasta and more. This is a dish that allows you to make pasta and veggies right in your microwave. Now I have no real complaints about it. It seemed to work pretty much as advertised. I had no real problems with it. The only thing is it really wasn't much faster than doing pasta the traditional way. But if you want to make pasta in your microwave, 
actually works pretty well. Here's a clip from my original review. Stable. I feel like it's going to fall off if I don't. That was hot. Okay. I mean, they both look, they both look pretty good. They both cooked for exactly 18 minutes. I think it works pretty well. In the end, I usually grab my Gotham Steel pasta pot when I make pasta because to me, the traditional way is still the best. <laughs> the way you're sitting. I know making, I had to get the, the way you're sitting is making me laugh. I'm sorry. It's making me laugh. These are Redshift XT glasses, the 116th product that I reviewed. These I are not polarized like some of the other glasses I've reviewed. And they've also made an appearance in quite a few of my videos. I'm not really fond of the way they look. They do work well as daytime driving glasses, although they're not really that very stylish. Here's a scene from my Redshift XT review. They're not kidding when they say everything is red. It's like, boom. Yep, this is gonna be a while. But at least I've got my Redshift XT to make this traffic look very clear. See, the world has kind of a red tint when you got the Redshift XT. But if you look at the difference though, I mean, I think that the red, the red tint does help. It does help the clarity quite a bit. This is Crank Chop. It's a kitchen device that allows you to dice and chop food with a pull of the handle. Now I'm happy to report that it pretty much works as advertised. It chops food nicely. I'm also happy to report that it has held up well and the pull string has not broken. That was something I was worried about. It's actually held up pretty well over time. Some people complain in my original review that I wasn't pulling the handle hard enough. Well, guess what? The first time you use it, you want to make sure you're not going to pull too hard and break it. So I kind of worked my way up to pulling it hard enough. And the other thing is that you really have to get a feel for how many times to pull it and how hard to pull it. And that's going to vary on the different foods you're using. There's definitely a learning curve, even though I think it works pretty much as advertised. I don't know if the crank chop will replace larger food processors for bigger jobs, but for something small, it actually works pretty well. The Philips Daroka One Blade is number 118. And I think this is one of the better products that I reviewed so far. It's a shaver edge or trimmer. You can use it dry, you can use it in the shower. It's not supposed to give you a close shave, but if you use it in the shower with shaving cream, it's actually pretty close. And the head on here has lasted me six months, still going strong. Here's a clip from my original review. Now everybody that I know that owns a one blade likes it. So I think the Phillips one blade is a really good investment. This is the my pillow but I'm not actually talking about the MyPillow so it can get out of here. This is the MyPillow Travel, which I am talking about. And this was the next one I reviewed. I can see how if you like MyPillow, that this would actually be beneficial to you because it does have a different feel than the pillow underneath it. And the MyPillow Travel is kind of a mini MyPillow that you can kind of take with you, like if you don't want to use a hotel pillow, which actually I've done in that case. I went to California a couple times, took this with me because I don't like thick hotel pillows, and I liked it. In fact, I kind of like this better than the MyPillow Classic that I already have. Now, the nice thing about this is that on the way down to California when I'm driving there, I can roll it up. and use it for back support in the car. So it has a couple uses and I'm pretty happy with it. Now, why don't I use it as my regular pillow at night? Because the last two months I've been using the purple pillow, which will destroy the MyPillow Travel in a fight. But overall, I think the MyPillow Travel is a pretty good product and works as advertised. All right, the 120th product I review was the Red Copper 5-Minute Chef. It's kind of like a George Foreman grill without the uh, ability to drain the fat. 
There we go. Okay. Is that? Let's see what we got. And whoa, not bad. Wow, that just came right out. What do you think? It was eight minutes, quarter pound of meat. I have once again. Now, to me, I thought it worked pretty well. I don't use it for all the things that it's advertised for. I kind of stuck with making chicken breast in there. That seemed to be the best thing for it. Now, to touch on something that a lot of people flooded my comments saying that another video showed it exploding, I never had that happen. My only theory is that either there was a defective unit or possibly the design changed. I do know the instructions have changed. When I got my instructions, it said to flip the item halfway through some of the recipes and it said to latch it. I noticed online the new instructions say not to latch it and not to flip it. So maybe they're trying to prevent people from having additional problems. I never had any problems with it, but that's just something to point out. I thought it worked pretty well, but it's maybe not quite as versatile as I had hoped. I do like the fact that it's small and compact. You could probably take this in your car if you're going on vacation or if you have a dorm with limited space, this is actually be a pretty good solution. So in the end, if I had to pick a favorite of all these, I would go with the Philips One Blade. I think this is definitely the best of the bunch. It's something I use all the time. It's a great product. I use some of the other ones as well. Five Minute Chef I still use occasionally. My Pillow Travel I'll take to California with me. I'll even use these glasses, the Redshift XT for driving, and the tech glasses if it's really bright outside, even though they're kind of dark for me. But tell me what you think if you've used any of these products in the comments below. And please follow my social profiles where I give you progress, pictures, and videos as I go. Please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.